This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Boy, you'll get me on the tirade again here. Here we go. Great tag team match we just saw from these two men, Robert and Ricky, the Rock and Roll Express. How about those t-shirts, baby? Yeah, let's sell some. Somebody, two men do not back down to Ric Flair. That's right, so you know, the days get closer that Jim Crockett singing the Memorial Cup. Plus one million dollars. Me and Ricky have been training very hard. We've been going over a lot of tapes, studying all these all these teams that are going to be in the tournament. One million dollars put a lot out in everybody. Right there. Me and brother, Rock goes here to stay. We're trying to do one thing, Tony. Walk away with a million dollars in that nice program. That's right, Tony. One thing for Jimmy Cornett, brother. Let me tell you, rock and roll ain't never going to die. We're going to be on your back, brother, to put those belts back around our waist. Now, again, Tony, we got to say something about Mr. Ric Flair. You know, my hat's off to the gentleman because he has beat a professional wrestler there is today because he is still the world's heavyweight champion. But one thing, Ric Flair, you come out here and you put us down. And as you see the tape right here, one whack, Tony, I knocked and pulled off his feet. He goes, here we go. He wants to fight. I give him something to fight about. You know, there's not too much I can do about him jumping on me, but there's a lot I can do to get him off. As you can see right here, he might be... Right here. There you go, right there, Mr. Ric Flair. Obviously, Ricky, he was not expecting you to do this to him. Look at the fear in his eyes here, Tony, because he didn't know. He didn't know what he got a hold of right here. I told you right here, Ric Flair, don't you ever put your hands on me again. And as you can see, he did. Now, ever go to professional wrestling is to be a world's champion, no matter if it's tag team or no matter if it's single. But for one or another reason, is that I'm there, Ric Flair. I'm at the top of the charts, right where you are. You might have a belt around your waist, but I'm up there beside you. Now this right here is for all these nice people out here and for myself. Because brother, when, when you step in the ring with Rick Morton, you're gonna know one thing, that you've been in one hell of a fight. As long as we get ready. All right, hey, all right, let's go to the ring. Man, they were popping for Magnum. It, it overwhelmed what Ricky was trying to say there. Yeah. 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 We've, We've talked about how about. disconcerting that could have been. It didn't bother me at that time. To yeah. me, it was all part of the ambience of what we were doing. Uh, just having the fans make noise was good. And I think that's why they, they brought them out. Uh, good or bad. Now, as we know, it's kind of disconcerting, but good or bad, it was, uh, it was good back then. So, um, Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.